Hey guys, it is Carl from Survivor West Coast. Uh, I just wanted to start by saying thanks to all the crew that helped me put this season on and definitely to the players who made it an excellent season. I hope you guys enjoy. We had a blast putting it on and hopefully we've got many more in the future. Nestled in the forests of North America's western coast lies Mason Lake. A vibrant ecosystem is home to a wide variety of life, ranging from the shimmering rainbow trout to the majestic bald eagle. We have also gathered a diverse group, ranging from a former marine to an elementary school teacher. Over the next two days, our contestants will battle each other and the elements to claim the title of sole survivor and the $300 cash prize. 48 hours, 12 people, one survivor. Alright, so when I call your name, I will tell you the name of your tribe and the color if also necessary. And if you could just go stand in front of your flag, that would be super ideal. Uh, Amanda, you are Sitka, which is the blue tribe. Uh, so I'm Amanda Smizer. I'm on the blue tribe. Uh, so far, it's feeling good. Natasha, you are Pyrola, the red tribe. Well, my name is Natasha. Uh, I'm 26. I work at a car dealership. I'm gonna be a teacher eventually. Hopefully, pandemic's getting in the way. Melissa, you are Sitka. Haley, you are Pyrola. Tim, you are Sitka. Right off the bat. What? Yeah. <laughs> I'm Tammy Riles, and I um, hopefully have. A really good team. They seem to be great. We're all working together so far. Um, I do have one alliance that I built, so already. Who is that? So that would be John. Who is John to you? <laughs> My son. Trisha, you are Pyrola. Uh, Andrea, you are Sitka. Hi, I'm Andrea Hopper, and I'm on the Sitka tribe. I'm 43 years old and I'm a single mom of three boys. Brian, Pyrola. Hey, I'm Brian. I uh, work in e-com. Um, I uh, went, first got here, first person that first person that I uh, kind of had a connection with, uh, Peyton. Immediately knew that kind of kindred souls. So. Jacob, Pyrola. John, Sitka, and Peyton, Pyrola. Let's go, Pyrola number one. I don't really have a strategy, I just want to have fun. <laughs> so, I guess my strategy is to have more fun than everybody else. <laughs> you guys with buffs? Sitka, your buffs? I'll just pass it around. <laughs> yeah, take one, pass it around. You can wear them however you would like. Uh, try and wear it as often as you can. I guess I won't force you to sleep in it, but whenever we're doing challenges or anything like that. Um, and if you wait here, I will bring you your tribe supplies. Yeah, 
four stakes and one rope. Probably just the one and then the other on the ground. Uh, I'm Derek. Um, I'm a 911 dispatcher with the person holding the camera. Um, my strategy is as yet unformed, given that I don't know the tasks we are to face. Uh, so I'm going to go with lightning tactics. Blitz hard, blitz fast. To be honest, our floor is looking pretty sweet. It looks like a slip and slide. <laughs> so how are our sleeping bags going to slide do? on this <laughs> Yeah, on that's way. true. <laughs> Straight up. <laughs> <laughs> no, sorry about that. <laughs> Only one way to find out later. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> this is. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, if you if you could tie it like that, that'd be. Oh, oh, honestly, oh. if you tie Where's it like that. Where's the other that, end? Oh, you have it? Okay, wait. All right. Uh, how do we get it more up? I think our camp is gonna be the best. We all kind of talked to one another, and communication was swell. Um, I think my personality is going to be to benefit, but I'm also going to learn to keep my mouth shut because sometimes I can talk a lot and not so nice. Just get where to fall closer. Oh, tie it up there somewhere. somewhere. Maybe we should. I think we should loop through this corner first. Okay. And then tie it. Yeah. One oh. final tie. Yeah. Up top. You have the mouth over here. Uh, Hi, my name is Trisha Wharton, and I live in Auburn, Washington. Yeah, and I'm a kindergarten teacher. Uh, I just celebrated 25 years of teaching. Yeah. I think until you see it, you have no idea. <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna tell everybody. On my team, holy. You open it. Yeah, there's a little log in there. It's like hollowed out. It was in there. <laughs> it's a cliff. No, it's the idol. Oh, interesting. Ooh. So it stands to reason then, since I trust Carl to be at least a little bit logical, that the oh. next one is not going to be anywhere near here. Well, what does this say? Does it look fake? <laughs> Some spree official of me. <laughs> what are they doing then? <laughs>
the person reading the rules, that, that time delay always gets cut out, so don't worry. You can take as long as you need. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It was in this... Yeah. I'm gonna leave it all in just right it has there. trouble reading. <laughs> So even if even if we use this, somebody from our team still has to get voted out. Yeah, it saves one person. Oh, I don't want Not this. The whole, <laughs> the whole tribe. It saves it saves the person who has it. Oh, everyone else would be excited. <laughs> yep. I told everybody that I found it because I don't want to be like secretive but now everybody knows I have it and like I, I got this power and I don't want to use this. <laughs> well, I would like to get rid of this <laughs> because I mean, hmm, I don't know, I really thought this through. <laughs> so it saves whoever it's played on, I mean, so only they, one person. Right, so then I could just keep it for myself and then they, they know I have it and they can't vote me out. I guess that's pretty good. <laughs> it's a pretty sweet deal. But I kind of feel bad <laughs> because we were looking for it as a team. I wanted to share it as a team. Um, so the first challenge is gonna be three parts. Um, the first part, you will have tribe members swim out and down, unclip your bag from your rope, not from the other teams. Uh, swim it back once they hit the beach they're actually out of the water the next person can go so you have three swimmers okay you will have the any of the three swimmers can then grab all three bags and run them up here where you'll have one person whose responsibility is to get into the bags open them in each bag there's a croquet ball each tribe has three wickets you hit the ball once if it doesn't go through you're resetting it to your orange line does that make sense so it's not like normal croquet where you get to just hit it a hundred times once a ball goes through a wicket both that wicket and that ball are out so you need to get one ball through each of the three wickets does that part make sense yeah yeah that's what? a three one. people or just one one okay the final two people will be working together on the puzzle. The way the puzzle works, you'll have one person who is blindfolded. They get to touch the puzzle pieces. Oh. The other person who is not blindfolded will be directing them. All right? Do you guys want to know what you're playing for? Oh, we got a burrito. So, so the winning tribe gets immunity. Okay. This means this means that your tribe is safe. You don't have to go to tribal council. The winning tribe also gets breakfast in the form of hot food, scrambled eggs, and breakfast sausage in burrito form. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Lo losing tribe. Losing tribe, all you get is a date with me at tribal council. <laughs> all right. Almost, all right. Good. Almost as good. <laughs> let's, let's get to it when you can go. So they have to be out of the water, all right? Survivors ready? Go! Up for red, go! Look at that backstroke. Oh, jeez. Bro, I don't even know if I can dive. I've never <laughs> That's dived before. Good. Just to tell your way over there. Blue team ready? Go! Let's go, John! Go!
got it, you got it. Both tribes are about even. Let's go, Peyton! We're done. Woo! Go, 20! Come on, John! Go, 20! Red team, go! Oh, did I make it? I made it, Red team! Red team! Oh. Blue team, go! Go, 20! One of you can go again. Go. Gotta get out of the water before he can go. You're good, go. Getting a feel for it. <laughs> you got it. Damn it. It's all right, man. Oh, Jeff, where's our Nobody expects there? anybody to get on their first shot. These are tied real good. Oh, yeah. Sika <laughs> has her first wicket. Second. Brian working on the last bag. Got it. Oh. Just wide. Are we sure that wasn't in? Instant replay. What happened? Yeah, no. <laughs> Near miss on the third one. I wish I could be breath. I don't know, man. It would just like go. Just get scared. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. There we go. On the puzzle. Brian's got all three balls out now. Oh, that's one. Near miss. Can, do I have to go back or? Good you ball. can hit that ball. Can I get the other ball? Go ahead. Put that one down. Uh, Alright, stop it. Oh my goodness. Okay. 
Mm-hmm. So go ahead and put that one down. Um, just grab that one. This That's one? a corner. Grab That's going to that be one. your bottom right corner. Okay, and then go that one. That one's going to connect on the, the one that's in your other hand. Come on, Brian. You got this. Nice, sturdy. Am I connected on the right side? Let me oh, see real quick. Lift your hands up. Okay, so it's going to... Oh, okay. It shapes. So each end is a shape, and then it's going to fit in a hole with that same shape. So does this go over here? No, so those two aren't gonna go All together. Right, um, let's do, Woo! okay, so right up your right hand, go mm -hmm. up that one, oh. and then your left hand, go all the way up. Oh. Oh. Up, 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 that piece, oh. those two are gonna go together. These, oh, these two? The uh-huh. Grab that one. You got it, you got it. <laughs> Just wide again. Oh, on both of them. Unfortunate. Off the side. That's two it gets down. Last one. <laughs> Again off the side of the wicket. Alright, let's go, Brian. Oh my god. Okay, you got all day. There you go. You're good. Start on the puzzle. High five, high five, roll one. It's going to be a circle puzzle. Okay. Uh, I was like, can I flip the pieces over <laughs> so I can see the number and the letter. Okay. Numbers, Tell me circle. when to stop because I don't know which ones I okay. have yeah. and haven't. Yes. Are we allowed to get close? Yeah. Okay. Where's the commentary, Jeff? Okay, um, the one where your hand is, flip that one over. That says number one on it, so put it in the top left. Um, so the one on your left, lift it up, move it to the right, and it oh, should... Very it much progress right. yet. And it should slot right in there. Right back in this, it doesn't have any puzzle pieces put together yet. Let me see. Is it not fitting? Mm -mm. Let me look at it real quick. Okay, so Is it not the, they go there's together? another piece. So let's grab one more piece. So if you go up in the pile, okay, so then your left hand go down. Okay, to the right. That piece. Grab that one. Okay. So then, uh, move to the left. The piece to the left. Move the, that one. That one. Should, if you flip the two pieces around in your hands. There we go. There you go. Whoa! <laughs> okay. Sorry. <laughs> so. Yeah. They don't though. They don't go together? No. It's nothing that they were saying. Okay, so that one. So 10, 11. Do you think this one goes with this one? Not yet. <laughs> once, once one tribe starts to get it, it will go fast. Okay, so. Um, they don't have any yet. Okay, well, yeah. Okay, so let's grab. It does make an animal? Ooh. Oh. Makes it. Trying to get DQ'd. Okay, so we haven't found A yet. <laughs> um, wait, okay, that, that That's is 11. Yes. So that one is R. Okay. 
and move your hand down. Okay, flip that one over. Oh, other way. 15, that's number 15. And there you flip go. that one over. F, that's F. So we're go over there, yeah. Um, so 20, that's 26 and it's a tail. Okay. So, <laughs> uh, the 26th letter is Z. Let me see if we see a, a Z. Um, we don't have a Z yet. <laughs> So lift it up and then over to the left or right. to the right. Okay. Here. It's gonna go right just like that. Like that? Almost. You have to lift it up and move it. Oh yeah. It's not all it's right next to the hole. Jeff is going for it. So pull it down a little bit. You can put fifteen and sixteen. Okay, so that's this is fifteen. Is this sixteen? No, flip it. That's W or M. W I think. That's the bottom, so you need to go. Okay, take your pointer finger on your right hand. On my right hand. Feel for the notch. Right there, right there. Okay, that's gonna go where your pointer finger is. Not correct. They have it, and they do sit there. I'll give you all my nuts. And right? then, yeah. <laughs> okay, deal. Um, deal. Because these also. Half of them were numbers, half of them were letters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. And don't make any numbers. Or don't make any numbers. But this time I'm wearing one, piece. one for each letter of the alphabet. And then that clicked. I saw the A, B, and then 26 letters. Tell us. You guys go get immunity. Go get it. <laughs> <laughs> That was a and that was a frustrating breakfast. <laughs> you stayed so fast. You can put it on their table yeah. for having what the patience. That must have been so frustrating. Oh. <laughs> she said move the purple piece. <laughs> I, <know. laughs> well, I wanted to say G, but I knew I if I said G, they'd figure out it was alphabet. Oh. How close so I had it? to just yeah. Can you run? Yeah, I can run. I'm not running. Oh, okay. I'll run. So if there's any running, you're running. I'm running. I got my running shoes. I got my water shoes. I got my water shoes on. Those uh -huh. look like running shoes. They are, but they're old, so I can go the way. Um, so I talked to you. And 20. 20. Is that what we're calling them? Yeah. And uh, what's the girl's name that's in all black? Uh, the Tasha. Tasha. And you're walking to Trash, but I'm going to talk to Sounds good to me. I think that's it. She told me on the dock yesterday with Natasha. So I'm going to tell Jacob we three are going to vote Natasha. Hopefully, Haley will play her idol still. I want to tell Trish, but if she's talking to Natasha, she's going to have to get blind on this vote. Okay. But I think we got three Natasha's out. Case, worst case scenario, it's a tie, and I don't think the three of them are going to vote together because she's voting against Trish. So. Agreed. We got it. You guys can just make your way in and have a seat on the bench here. Be nice and tight. All right, Pyrola. So Sika is here just to observe. Uh, because they will be on the jury, so the voting tribe will always get to observe the tribal councils. Uh, let's get right into it. First challenge, you guys lost. One of you will be the first voted out. Any thoughts, opinions about the challenge at all? What might have gone well and what didn't? The, uh, the whole thing was a bit surprising. Um, kind of how it started and and continued through and I think that puzzle was seemed like it was pretty difficult to do under pressure um, 
but man. both tribes struggled with it. It took a while to get it to get it done. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Trisha or Natasha, either of you worried since you were on the puzzle portion of that challenge? Um, I don't know. I mean, I'm kind of going with it. If that's what the team wants, then I have a beautiful life. <laughs> <laughs> maybe I'll stop having Gondor call Bray. Like, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> yes. Yes, dear. Uh,. <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's kind of where I'm at. Are you worried, Trisha? A little bit. Uh, I formed alliances early, so... See if they so you, ha you have formed alliances already? <laughs> Alright. Anyone else on the Pyrola tribe want to fess up to having formed alliances already? <laughs> <laughs> Nobody? There's, there's conversations They did it when I was around. gone. There's, 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 <laughs> there's conversations going constantly. Oh, wait. I mean, that's the fun of this. Mm -hmm. We like everyone on our team, but it doesn't necessarily mean that we trust them or that we want to play with them. And, but. So I think between setting up your camp last night and so far in the first challenge, my observation is that maybe your communication hasn't been the best. Do you think anyone think that that's the case? I think it's been good. You guys think it's been good? I think we learned how to adapt in the challenge and we knew not to hover around them or encourage too much because they were like, stop! <laughs> so we kind of just had to back away because our communication is so good and we couldn't talk about it. <laughs> there, there was some struggles early on when you're talking about getting the camp together, but I think we, we all stuck with it. Nobody left. We all stayed together and made yeah. sure that it got done. There is there is some com camaraderie there. So. Everyone's helped out and done their part. Yeah. Jacob, you struggled a little bit in your portion of the challenge. Are you worried at all? Uh, just a little bit. That shit was whack. <laughs> <laughs> so you were on the swimming portion yeah. and supposed to get the deepest bag? That's what it looked like to me. Yeah. But I mean, I'm not that great of a swimmer anyways. But, you know, they called on me, so I took my shot. I went for it. Gave my all failed but it's all good. Mm -hmm. I still, so it's, still secured the bag at the end of the day. So. Three part race. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> still so Payton, do you part. think that that's the, the best way to do that is even if you don't think you're the best at something step up and you might let the tribe down but at least you you did what you could you put your effort in? I mean I think so yeah because because okay. <laughs> like I mean, I thought I could do it because I didn't think it was that deep. So I was like, all right, I can, I'm pretty tall. I might just be able to dive down just a little bit, and I should be able to get it. But like, as soon as I put my head under, and with my heart racing and everything, I don't know, just pressure got to me. Just couldn't go as deep as I really thought I could. Because I've been diving before, and like I, I know I can go underwater like deeper than what I definitely did. But um, I don't know, just pressure and everything kind of just running through my head, couldn't do it. You think you would have done better with a puzzle? Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Peyton? Do you think you would have done better with a puzzle? Um, well, I wasn't like flawless at this. It took me a couple of times and I ate ass coming into shore. <laughs> 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 uh, I don't know about that. Do you but, think you would have done better than Trisha and Natasha with the puzzle? Um, it's it's tough to say. You know, I was a little uh, a little frustrated, but you know, we were overcoming that. We came and we were gonna make it through. And, Haley, you know, do you think you could have done better at the puzzle? I'm good with one. <laughs> <laughs> Brian? Uh, I mean, I didn't really get a good look at the actual numbers and letters on the puzzle until probably ten minutes in. I was, but I mean. I definitely think that at some point there was maybe some confusion about mixing and matching and keeping them in order, but I think we figured that out at some point. Maybe there's just not the, uh, the, keep the S, the tight S shape. But you, you also, <laughs> you also stepped up and took on the croquet portion of the challenge, which is the only portion that was completely by yourself. So it's a hundred percent on you if something goes wrong there, and I think made up a little bit of time once you had the knots undone. Yeah, I mean I'm not gonna pretend I had the hardest part. I mean, yeah, it is a solo portion, so it would, it would really suck if I let the entire tribe down by myself. But I mean, I definitely know that uh, there was some 
difficulty in all the all the levels. So and I just did what I could to try and help the tribe and keep us strong. So. So we know Trisha and Brian have had some conversations. Peyton, have you been having conversations with anybody? I've talked to everybody a little bit. You know, I'm trying to find my uh, core. You know, I think I got a group of people that I can maybe play with in this pre-merge, and uh, I guess that's what the votes will tell tonight. Does or anyone today? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. you know. Anyone feel really confident that they are safe? I don't think that's part of this game. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's the game we're playing here. No, <laughs> no, one, no one's willing to put their hand up and say, I didn't screw up the challenge, I've made the social connections, I'm not worried about going home. <laughs> I'm going home like right now? What is this? <laughs> What is Natasha? What's your voting criteria today? Very loaded question. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, um, I don't know. Uh, kind of like everyone else, I've kind of chatted with pretty much everyone on the team. Um, but I don't know that I have very strict. Are you voting yeah. to keep the tribe strong and win the next challenge? Are you voting based on the relationships that you've made? A bit of both. Both? A bit of both. Okay. Haley, what's your voting criteria today? I think we all did our part and we're just going to vote how this decision were made. So there's a decision that's been made? Anyone, <laughs> anyone think that they're not part of that? I hope I'm part of the right decision. <laughs> <laughs> lots, one lots of you, lots, lots of one talking. of you, one of you is getting voted out. So someone <laughs> yeah. is on the outside. All right, you guys all know who you're voting for. Yes. All right. Is time to vote? But actually, wait a second while I go turn the camera on back there. So. <laughs> <laughs> like diving in the dirt and stuff. <laughs> I love the very formal. Very wrapped in napkins. Very formal. I may have ruined one of your ties. It's the worst.
tally the votes. Anybody has a hidden immunity idol and you would like to play it, now would be the time to do so. Nobody? All right. First vote, Haley. Second vote, Natasha. Third vote. Trish. That's Whoa. one vote Haley, one vote Natasha, one vote Trish. Fourth vote, Haley. It's two votes Haley, one vote Natasha, one vote Trish. Trisha. It's two votes Haley, two votes Trisha, one vote Natasha, one vote left. The first person voted out of Survivor Mason Lake, Haley. Haley. Three is enough if you would please bring me your torch. Hey, we'll bring some good stuff to the yeah, store. Bring that, that's good. Which, which one? <laughs> the, yes. Just pull up hard. The whole thing? Yeah. I actually just want you to bring me the fire. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Oh, I was like, what? Haley? The tribe has spoken. Maybe we'll see you later. When do we go again? Kind of sucks. I, I didn't expect it. Um, I kind of got like an idea because Carl said, well, we know Trish and Brian have been talking, but no one like said that out loud. And so we were kind of like, who said they've been talking? And then, um, I don't know her name. Natasha? Kind of covered up with, no, I just think in general. And then it was me, but no odd feelings. Um, the only reason I can think of is because I didn't want to sleep with the bugs. But, because I'm a fierce competitor and I mean, I swam for someone else and they couldn't, but you can only do what you can do. And I came in knowing nobody. Like literally no one, but we'll see. I'm going to try to get back in the game, however that happens, because I think once the merge comes, I've made friends with a lot of people on the other tribe and the people that were on my side on my tribe were even kind of confused. And I also, um, I had an idol, but I um, gave it to somebody else to play if they felt like they needed to, and then they didn't, and then I got lured out. So <laughs> my time here on Survivor West Coast. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you.